Welcome back lottery fans. Today we're going to be doing a pick three rundown utilizing the golden ratio. For those of you that don't know what the golden ratio, it is a mathematical property that can be used in uh, lots of different things. Actually architects have used it in building constructions, famous paintings have used it, pa painters have used it in paintings, it's been used in music, it occurs a lot within uh, nature. It is actually the basis for Fibonacci, so if you've seen our Fibonacci videos, you, uh, this is the basis for those as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk through this rundown, uh, show you how to do it uh, for three different states, then you can definitely go ahead and try this rundown uh, in your state. So uh, let's jump right into it. For the, our first state that we're going to use this for, uh, it's going to be Connecticut. And it's going to be Connecticut midday. And as I mentioned, this is going to be the golden ratio. I highly recommend going and researching the golden ratio if you haven't heard about it before. Maybe some of you have. Fascinating numbers, uh, fascinating history about it. Uh, so definitely go ahead and research that. And you, you'll definitely see the power of starting to use this within your lottery rundowns once you've seen how uh, the golden ratio influences a lot of our lives out there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use March 17th for our base date. You can use any date, you know, much like the other rundowns. Definitely backtrack some previous dates, see which ones are actually hidden, which date you can use for your base number. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use from Connecticut Lottery for midday on the 17th of March. And that result was an 886. So we're going to go ahead and fill it in on the top line of our rundown worksheet. Uh, as always, if you want a copy of this rundown worksheet, completely free to download, just go to lotterypredictor.com. Uh, download it from the resources section. I'll also leave a link down and below in the description so you can go directly to it. But there is uh, this rundown worksheet and all the rundown worksheets from our previous videos as well. Uh, they're all available for free for download there. So in terms of the golden ratio, how are we going to apply the golden ratio to uh, our rundown? So the golden ratio uh, is actually a string of numbers uh, that are applied to various different uh, mathematical pieces. Uh, but in terms of what we, we're going to use the first three numbers out of the golden ratio and what we're going to use that is going to be a 1.61 so as I said it carries on much like pi it carries on forever and ever and ever but we're only going to use the first three numbers for our pick three rundown uh, this is sometimes referred to as a uh, phi the Greek number phi uh, but we're just going to refer to it as 1.61 so we don't have to worry about that because that can't really apply phi to our uh, a rundown, uh, but we can apply 1.61 to it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and take our 1.61 and you're going to want to grab a calculator for this. Uh, definitely something that needs a calculator. And we're going to go ahead and multiply our starting number by phi, or by the golden ratio rather. So we're going to multiply that by 1.61. So take 886, multiply it by 1.61, and we'll get our result. And you'll notice when you get the result, you will actually start getting decimals in there, uh, decimal places, because you're actually multiplying by a decimal place as well. But we're only actually going to want the whole numbers, and we're only going to want the the three uh, it, the three after the decimal point. So find your decimal point, which comes after 4.6, uh, 40.46, and then take the next three numbers after it. So four, two, and six. And we're going to put four, uh, sorry, four, two, and six. Then we're going to go ahead and multiply that number by our golden ratio as well, 1.61. Multiply by 1.61, and we'll get this number here. So once again, find your decimal point, and take the next three numbers to the left of it, so 296. Same again, we're going to multiply it by 161, the golden ratio, and find the decimal point. And we're going to take the next three numbers to the left, 6, 9, 7. And we're going to keep going down until we've actually got six numbers uh, that we can play for the Connecticut, mid Connecticut Midday. So we get some 9, 5, 3. A couple more here. Multiply 1, 6.1.61. Goes a 5, 8, 4. And one last time gives us a 4.30. So there we go. There are six numbers that we can now start playing in the Connecticut Midday based on our, our golden ratio. 
go, I'll go ahead and start doing this for a couple more states so you can see the example working through again. Get a blank rundown sheet to do this one. And our next state is going to be Arkansas. And it's going to be the Arkansas midday. And same date again. I'm going to use the 17th. This is the golden ratio. And for the 17th of March in the midday, the result in Arkansas was a 0, 3, 7. And so we're going to use 1.61 just the first three numbers out of the golden ratio and we're going to apply that to our uh, initial result that we use for our base result so we're going to times we're going to multiply 037 by 1.61 to get our next golden ratio number so clear out the calculator always make sure you're clearing it out between rundowns take 37 and multiply it by 1.61 that gives us uh, 59.57 now because we don't want any of these decimal places uh, we're going to take everything from the left here of the decimal point uh, and it, that's going to be a 0, 059 then we'll go ahead and we'll multiply that by the golden ratio again and that gives us a 95 so 0, 095 Multiplied by that, and that's an interesting pattern because that's a that's a flip of 59. So 1.61. Everything to the left of decimal point, 154. And then we're just going to keep going down as we've done previously, multiplying by our golden ratio as we keep going, 248. And we're going to go for six lines in total. 400 and the last one for our sixth line is going to be 644 there we go so there are six numbers that we can now start playing uh, in the Arkansas midday all right one more state go ahead and do this and then uh, you can def definitely should have an idea of how it's working so you can go ahead and do it in your state as well and the last one we're going to do Pennsylvania and once again, we're going to do the midday library. Now, I just realized on the Arkansas, this is actually the 16th, not the 17th. My mistake there. So, but Pennsylvania is the 17th. Uh, so the midday there was a 679. Write down our 1.61, which is the number we're going to use to multiply. It's our golden ratio number. Clean out the calculator and go ahead and start over again. So we take 679, multiply it by the golden ratio. Oops. 679, multiply by 1.61. Oops. The calculator is not cooperating this time. 679. Multiplied by 1.61. There we go. That got it. And it gives us 1093.19. We only need the three digits to the left of the decimal place. So that's a 0, 0.93. Once again, multiply by 1.61. Gives us a 760. Next up, that gives us an 833. And you don't have to stick to just six lines. I typically will pay six lines within a rundown, uh, unless a, the specific rundown does require me to do more, which some do, some don't. Uh, but when I'm uh, playing a uh, just a, a rundown that doesn't require a specific set of lines, I typically like to play six. And that way, if I'm feeling a bit flush with cash, I can definitely play a couple of different rundowns if I see more than one rundown working. There we go. So there are six numbers that we can go ahead and play within the Pennsylvania midday library. So there we go. There we have it. There we have our uh, golden ratio workouts for the pick three lottery. As I said, definitely go up and read on the golden ratio. Highly interesting stuff. Uh, very powerful number to be using when we when we tie it in with our lottery numbers. 
uh, hopefully we'll start seeing some states hitting on this rundown soon. Uh, if you are hitting these numbers, definitely leave me a comment down below. If you want me to see me see, do your state or a specific rundown uh, with other numbers, please leave me a comment below. Thumbs up on the video if you like this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.